questions. So we will begin with um, Dr. Bari. Yeah. And uh, he will talk to us about improving argumentative essay writing of IELTS students in investigation. Thank you. Thank you. And just as a reminder, I'll give everybody like a hand signal. You kind of have an idea of where your time is. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim and good morning to everyone. This is Dr. Mohammed Sadr Rati mm -hmm. from the Islamic University of Bahawalpur, Pakistan. And I'm also present my talk with my co-presenter, Maria Noor. Uh, she's my daughter and uh, she's uh, basically affiliated with the government Sadiq College Women University, Bahawalpur. She's the student over there. So the topic of my presentation is improving argumentative essay writing of IELTS students and investigation. Basically, in Bahawalpur, I am also working as an IELTS trainer for the last 30 years. On the behalf of that, I have seen that the students are making some, uh, a lot of mistakes in their task to essay writing. So, I have chosen this point. Respected audience, and this is a brief sketch of my talk. Basically, English language proficiency plays a pivotal role in today's globalized world, enabling individuals to effectively communicate, succeed academically, and pursue professional opportunities in an increasingly interconnected and multicultural society. As a result, standardized tests have emerged as an essential tool for assessing English language skills, facilitating uh, education opportunities, professional registration, and migration to the English speaking country. Okay? And among the prominent language proficiency tests, IELTS test is having an impactful and significant recognition worldwide. Basically, it is widely accepted by the university, employers, and even immigration authorities, making it a crucial gateway for individuals seeking to prove their English language proficiency. Basically, that's why this IELTS test is going to be conducted. They just want to assess what sort of the knowledge the person is possessing. Basically, English is being learned and used all over the world. It has become a lingua franca and a language of greater opportunities. It also exercises a great influence on the elite class of the country. Its knowledge is a successful passport for employment. Both the oral and written skills are essential for learning any language, especially the English language. Learning the second language is never easy. It is very tough. Students must wrestle with new vocabulary, rules of grammar, and sentence structure, idiom, pronunciation, and many more. Some people seem to catch on much more quickly than others. Basically, writing skill includes all the knowledge and abilities related to expressing ourselves through the written word. It is a sound understanding of language through grammar and spelling and punctuation too. People with excellent writing skills can tailor their tone and word choice to different situations too. So writing skills equips us with communication and thinking skill. It also fosters our ability to explain and define our ideas to others and ourselves too. So writing skills are an important part of the communication. What the writing skills are? Look at here. Basically writing skills involve adequate knowledge and the ability to express our thoughts and ideas in the written words, right? A good writing skill also includes writing style and tone of the language, etc. Good writing skills allows the communicator to communicate his message to superiorly to targeted audience and make them understand easily. So, but effective writing is not a simple task. It's very tough. It demands a detailed knowledge of sentence structure, grammar, vocabulary, and power of punctuation marks and exclamation marks and some basic writing skills too. However, it, it can be improved through a consistent practice done by the teacher under his guidance and automatically the students will do that. So, if you talk about the importance of writing skills and writing module too, writing skills are important due to the following reasons. These are some reasons. One is that to express thoughts and ideas clearly. 
to improve foresight ideas, to increase word power and grammar, to improve communication skills, to lead the targeted audience, to give them a clear-cut message, to become a good leader. Basically, IELTS has become a necessity. How? It is having four uh, basically modules. One is the listening module, second one is the reading module, third one is the speaking, and the next one is the writing module. So it has become uh, a necessity because most of the students, they want to get their admission in for their further studies. They will have to pass this test and some want to get some immigration. Automatically, they will have to pass this test. What the writing module is basically, human beings express their ideas through the symbols in writing. Okay, write correct and write beautiful is the aim of teaching writing skills. According to Bacon, writing makes an exact man. Writing is used for transferring and getting the knowledge. According to Bell, writing is a tool used to express what is in our mind. What comes in our mind, we have to just write it down. Okay, sir. This is the basically structure of argumentative essay. There must be proper introduction, which is like a face. And it should have a proper body, which is like a heart. And it should have proper conclusion, which is like a legs. So that is a living organism of writing any argumentative essay. So these are some characteristics. Proper unity and uh, order, brevity, style, personal touch, and the conclusion. These are going to be uh, demanded for writing your task to argumentative essay. If we talk about the significance of the study, that will be helpful for the IELTS students, for the teachers, and definitely the students will learn the art of self-correction automatically. The objectives of my study were to motivate students to acquire the skills to write a good argumentative essay, how to write it well. And the second was uh, to identify the students' problems in writing module, to persuade the teachers for using new techniques of teaching, and to understand the purpose of writing argumentative essays too. My research hypothesis was argumentative essays are more valuable than other essays for teaching writing skills to the IELTS students. So effective teaching of argumentative essay can bring improvement, enhance and boost up the ratio of productivity in students learning of writing module. This is my literature review. How do I know what I think until I see what I say? Writing is the interaction of mind and the word. Writing has got to be an act of discovery I like to find out what I am thinking about. And learning to write is not just a natural extension of le learning to speak a language. Writing is a secondary skill, but it is difficult to learn and teach due to its tight norms. 100 students and 10 teachers, IELTS trainer teachers, participated in this study who were belonging to Sibling Academy of Quality Education, Pakistan. It was an experimental type of research based on quantitative approach and a random sampling was done. Pre-test and post-test for the students and a questionnaire for the teachers were used as a tool to collect the data from the respondents. And that is the data analysis. On the behalf of that, uh, it is clear that different techniques of teaching argumentative essays develop IELTS students' writing skills. So that is my uh, t-test result. And that is the data analysis of my questionnaire, which I uh, distributed among the teachers. So that these are some factors which I deduced. It takes to, uh, the students take interest, that was 98%. The participation, 100%. They became confident, 80%. The motivation, how well they were motivated, that is 99% and writing improved, that is 98%. And that is the graphic description. Now I'd like to sum up my talk. Respected audience, there is a dire need to change the traditional methods of teaching English. Basically, if we talk about, because overall, uh, if we talk not uh, in the second language, English is going to be used 
overall the world because over here in Dubai, English is going to be learned and used as a second language. And if I talk about the Pakistan, it is going to be learned and used as a second language. So the teachers are going to use the traditional method. Now is the time to change their method. Practical outlook of students is required and students need not good bands in IELTS basically. Uh, rather, they are required to utilize their knowledge in the hour of need. And some workshops must be conducted to create awareness among IELTS students. Teachers should pay emphasis on English as a medium of instruction in the IELTS class. And teachers should promote interactive techniques while conducting IELTS classes. And teachers should present their lessons in an enjoyable, relaxed and comprehensive way. Yes, sir. Okay. They should also bring a change in their teaching methodology. Some refresher courses for better teacher training about uh, composition writing should be arranged. The classroom environment should be student-centered. It must be interactive one. And the learners should be encouraged to participate in various activities like panel discussions, debates, and declamation content uh, to gain self-confidence, fluency, and accuracy. Teachers should give their students necessary feedback on their performance because it can promote their error correction and increase their motivation and help them to develop their confidence in listening exercises too. So these were some differences from which I got the help and thank you very much and any questions please. Yes sir. Uh, we will have a discussion, all the discussions yeah. together yeah, after the okay. session. Okay. 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 Thank you very much. Thank you so thank much. You very much.